friends. Glad to be with you again today. Time for another Squint 180. Um, here we are in the middle of February. <clears throat> you can see the winter scenes behind me, but I am praying it's a sunny day. Spring is coming. So let me give you a positive thought from God's Word today. This comes out of Acts chapter 10, and I'm just focusing on verses 19 and 20. And I'm calling this, Prepared People Are Prepared by God to Meet Prepared People. And I didn't get that phrase on my own. Uh, I actually heard that one time from a dear friend of mine, evangelist and pastor teacher S. Lee Hamoki. And today I dedicate this to him. He just passed away yesterday at the age of 82 and a half. And he's in heaven now with other great saints, a tremendous evangelist, tremendous Bible teacher, and mentor of mine and personal friend. And so my prayers go to uh, Darlene and Steve and Carrie and all of their family. Um, Michelle and I love you guys, and I dedicate this in memory of Lee. So Lee once shared a message about prepared people, being prepared by God to meet prepared people. And he may have used a different uh, a section of Scripture because you can see this all throughout Scripture. But mine's coming from the book of Acts, where a man by the name of Cornelius was praying. He he loved, the, he loved the church, he loved the Jewish people, um, and he, he gave gifts and so on, he was generous. And so uh, he is praying uh, and, and maybe hoping that maybe somebody will come and, and uh, share more of the faith with him. Peter at the same time, uh, at a similar time, in a different location, the Apostle Peter gets this vision, the sheet vision of of what was to him a Jew, unclean animals, and a voice that says, rise up and eat, Peter. And Peter says, no, 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 I can't because that's unclean. All right? And um, uh, um, the voice, uh, I had to check my notes here, the voice uh, lets Peter know, and of course the voice is God, letting him know that that which I have uh, previously called unclean, I am now calling clean, and it's okay. So that kind of gets Peter wondering what's going on. That's where we pick up Acts chapter 10, 19, and 20. Meanwhile, as Peter was puzzling over the vision, the Holy Spirit said to him, Three men have come looking for you. Get up and go downstairs and go with them without hesitation. Don't worry, for I have sent them. Cornelius was, had supported God's people. He probably had some questions in his heart. Peter is getting this vision of God, and the vision is letting God, uh, Peter know there's, there's a change. That which was previously considered unclean is now clean. And uh, what it does is it paves the way for Peter to go and visit. Peter, prepared by God, to go visit Cornelius, a man also prepared by God, to meet one another. And as Peter shares the gospel of Jesus with Cornelius, the Holy Spirit comes upon him, uh, they're filled with the Holy Spirit. They speak in tongues. Uh, Peter figures out, hey, we, we might as well baptize them too. And so they baptize them, and they can become members of the faith. And how, how, what a great story that is to show us that there are people out there that are prepared by God unto salvation, but they need a preacher. That's what Romans 10, you know, 10, 17 says, faith comes from hearing and hearing from the word of God. How shall I hear unless God sends a preacher? And so God prepares Peter, and of course Cornelius would have been a Gentile, unclean, Peter a Jew, clean. And so God is letting Peter know that this is okay. You can go to Cornelius, and you can minister to him and maybe lead him to Christ. And that's exactly what happens. So Peter's vision really helps him to be a prepared person to meet this other person who's also prepared. Now... I wouldn't do justice to the book of Acts if I didn't go on to say that there's another little spin here on this story, and that is this. The Apostle Paul, uh, who was named Saul before he became a believer, Saul was persecuting Christians, and yet Saul became a believer. He had an encounter with the Lord Jesus Christ in Acts chapter 9. And notice this, what I've read is Acts chapter 10. And this, again, is preparing the way, because... As Paul, as Saul had an encounter with Christ and got saved and became Paul, 
people were fearful of him because they still thought he was Saul, who persecuted believers. And so uh, people really didn't uh, trust him. A, a man by the name of Barnabas, who was a good man, full of the Holy Spirit and of faith, Acts chapter 11, uh, he went to bat for Paul, and he brought Paul to Jerusalem to the apostles to say, this is really a good guy. And, and he's preaching to the Gentiles, and Gentiles are getting saved. And so the Jewish believers were a little unsure about that. But then Peter realizes that his whole thing with the sheet vision and going to Cornelius was also to get clarification that Paul is now going to be used by God to have a great ministry out to Gentiles, and that Gentiles, not just Jewish Christians, but now Gentiles can now hear the, the message of the gospel and receive Christ. And so, prepared by God, pre people are prepared by God to meet prepared people. And so that's my word to you. So never shy away from a conversation or an experience. Always take stock of where God sends you, where God has you, what he does in his life, because, in your life, because God may be preparing you for a moment, all right, to share your faith with somebody else. You might be right now being prepared by God through your experiences, through your faith, through other people. And you might be prepared by God right now to go out and meet a prepared person who's waiting right just for you so that you can share the words of the gospel of Christ. So always be available and be ready. And of course, again, that's my word today to you in honor of my friend, Pastor Evangelist Esli Homoki, now in heaven, rejoicing. So have a great week, and we'll see you next week for the next, next Squint podcast.